Hello everyone, today I will show you how to assign mesh for area element in ETAP software. First we need to select the floors, however I will just select one element for now. I will go to the assign and shell floor auto mesh option. And as shown here, there is many choices, I will select the first one for now. And of course I will discuss each one of them. I will click apply and from set display option I will click shell analysis mesh. Okay now the mesh is viewed over the slab and actually the default the first choice here, the default, is based on something else. As shown here, there is some message pop up when we put the mouse. And you can read it by detail. However, I will discuss it in much easier way. From Analyze, we, we click Automatic Mesh Setting for Floors. And as shown here, there is Mesh Options for Slab, General Mesh, and Rectangular Mesh and we can specify the approximate maximum mesh size. I will put one, I will change it to one just to ch check uh, the difference and I will click OK. And as shown here, the mesh size is changed now. Therefore, we should notice that the first option here, the default, is based on the automatic mesh setting for floors. This option is based on this one. And as shown, there is also two options, which are general mesh and rectangular mesh. We are selecting now the general mesh. However, what is the difference between them? Okay, let me show you. First, let me select all the area elements in this, in this floor. Of course, we just need for now the floors, the slabs. We don't care about the walls. I will deselect the other element except floors and deselect okay I will click apply and of course we are still we are choosing now the first option the general mesh option as shown here all the mesh are connected to each other, all the slabs are connected using the mesh we assigned already. However, if we select again the same floors, and we choose now from the automatic mesh option we select the rectangular mesh and we click OK okay now we can see the difference between them there is some discontinuity in the mesh between the slab elements and of course we don't need this they should be connected in order to ensure a correct analysis going back to this to this here the floor auto mesh option the second one is rarely used because it deals with the plate element for example this element that doesn't have any kind of any plane forces it's kind of maybe um, for mass structure or something like that the third option means no meshing if we want to remove the mesh we can select the third option and we click apply for example As shown here okay from the fourth option we can control the number of mesh meshing element in the X and the, in the Y direction for example if we want to mesh this object 4 by 4 we can click apply we can check what will happen okay you can see it is very clear we mesh this object using 4 by 4 mesh okay the last option here auto cocky cut object into structural elements 
this option is similar to the one here to the rectangular mesh because also you can estimate the the mesh size using this here by specifying a value here I will put one meter for example oh sorry 1000 okay actually using this option the cookie cut maybe it's just consistent for this floor element however if we select all the floors and we use this option there is the same problem as I show you before using the rectangular mesh here there is some element that could be not connected to each other therefore uh, in my opinion the rectangular mesh here and the auto cookie cut object into structural element are just very similar to each other and in my opinion the best option to be used is the general mesh and click the default and that this is what I will do for this model I will click apply of course now we need to select all the floors and let me remove the mesh shell analysis mesh and we click apply okay now it's done for the floors we still have the walls we they need also to be meshed okay I will select the walls now okay maybe let's view just one wall for now I'll put E maybe put C okay Of course we need first to select the element before assigning a mesh and I will go to the assign shell however I will select here this option wall auto mesh and in the same manner there is three options the default which is no meshing for straight walls and auto rectangular meshing for curved. therefore if we select the first option nothing will be added to this element I will show you I will click apply and actually now as you can see all the slab all the wall element are assigned to an default wall mesh option if we click the shell analysis mesh and nothing shows here okay I will use now the second option as shown here we divide this area element for this number of mesh size and lastly we have the last option okay as shown here this mesh is the best because we apply a mesh size of one by one approximately one by one however in my opinion we shouldn't use any kind of these options for meshing the walls because CSI have, have announced on their website some problem when using the, the option of wall auto mesh I will show you just a moment okay going to this as shown here avoid auto area meshing for shear walls since mass are not lumped to the story level when auto area meshing is applied Hence, in my opinion, we should divide the walls and we shouldn't use the area wall option for, for walls. Okay. And actually what you should notice that using the division is just the same as mesh because the mesh mean just divide the elements into many pieces. However, 
the mesh is in virtual division and this called here manual mesh for example I will select all the stories and I will select all the walls okay and as I mentioned this is manual mesh and it's much preferred and I will prove it for you while we are computing the seismic forces and now we click here 8 this wall is 8 meter Okay. Maybe let me put the the grid system for core wall just to show you what I'm doing. For example, this wall have a length of 4 meter. I will use here 4. I'm just dividing the walls into approximately equal pieces of 1 by 1 meter. And for this one, these all wall segments have 2.7 meter. I will divide 3 by 3. Okay, and if we put the 3D view, as shown here all the walls are now divided and trust me this is the best way to mesh the walls in e-tabs don't use the area wall meshing option because it gonna give some inaccurate results when we are doing seismic analysis and that's all for this video thank you and let's continue in the next one